roundtable that I hosted was on the role of the insurance manager um, and we looked at three questions. One was how that fitted with, with risk management uh, and the views that came out were that insurance was a very important subset of risk management. So risk management is wider than the insurance piece but nevertheless it's a very important part and while you, the best way of placing insurance is to look at the risks first and then buy the appropriate insurance product, it's also important that to buy the insurance product you can demonstrate the risk management within your company. And there was, I guess there were, there were several reactions. Um, I mean the, the, the topic I think that got the most sort of challenge was how engaged your board should be with insurance purchase with some of the, the, uh, the individuals thinking, yeah, absolutely, the board should know everything that's going on. They should be aware of the policies, not just how much they're paying, but what's covered, and equally importantly, what is not covered, so that in the event of a claim, you can manage their expectations correctly and not sort of over-promise and under-deliver. But other members of, of the round table felt that, no, actually, it was too technical for the board. They delegated that responsibility to the insurance manager, and therefore, they were, they were happy to get on with it and uh, not refer it back up. I think what came out actually is it depends very much upon your organisation but, but nevertheless there are learnings from some of the companies that other people can use. So for example where maybe you haven't involved the board very much in decision making there's a, a growing awareness that specifically with some of the that maybe the DNO cover the board should really be aware of, of what it's there for and what it can do but equally its limitations. <laughs>